My camera got damaged by salt water. What is up, people? Welcome back to the channel again. I'm MQ Fish, and today I'll be out kayak fishing with Fish On, and we'll be launching from Pungol Beach. In this session, I'll be using Fish On's Hobie Passport 10 kayak with an upgraded drive, which Norden will be sharing with us more later in this video. Today's uh, game, I'll be bring, playing a bit of Leos as well. Uh, I have crank baits with me, and uh, of course, uh, baits. Uh, main baits will be prawn, so we shall see how uh, what kind of fishes can catch here. Uh, it's known that uh, this spot has a lot of groupers, so perhaps today could be the day I land my first grouper. We shall see about that, and yeah, we'll be looking forward. So I shall see you guys in a bit out in the water. See you. Guys, we'll start with Frank bait going against the current right now. Fish on! Fish on! Ah shit! Drop! <laughs> drop, drop, drop! And after dropping two groupers, I decided to switch to a single hook Apollo rig with live prawns. The use of a polar rig is quite simple. Just drop your bait all the way down to the bottom and slowly bounce it off the rocks while drifting with the current on your kayak. Fish on, fish on. Get on the boat! <laughs> Guys, after a grueling morning, I started crankbaits and then I lost two. And finally, I changed to um, Apollo rig and finally land this. Uh, what? Which kind? Which grouper is this? I did basically. It's an orange spotted grouper. Ah. So this is the one you guys actually learned the previous episode, right? Yep. Wow, not bad for the size. Right. Okay, I guess this one is for dinner. Yeah, we <laughs> only play very close to the shore, about maybe 4 meters, 5 meters along the shore. Uh, just, just uh, what? Like bouncing off, off the rocks. Yeah, the take was actually damn strong. I did not expect. I thought it was sangkut, but really was damn strong. Yeah, very, very strong. Yeah. Alright, so <laughs> this is it, guys. Awesome. With the upgraded drive, my paddling now feels more effortless than ever. Let us hear more from Nordin. Under your company, right? I realized there's like a few different kinds of kayaks, lah. So maybe you, you can let us, uh, the viewers, know, lah. In fact, like what kind of kayaks do you I have? have? A propel drive kayak, which is from Native. Uh, I also have a tandem kayak, which is a hobby, a compass. 
I have a new addition of kayak coming in soon Two more uh, One will be Hobby Compass And another one will be Hobby Outback So there are some upgrades to the fleet There will be fish finders And probably some power assisted motor as well I see there's like two kinds There's one like this one, the current one I'm not sure why it's called this uh, drive Where you can only move forward And then there's another one which I saw can go forward and backwards as well Currently all of my fleets are equipped with just a normal GT drive The 180 drive I do not want the client to use because it's slightly more difficult to actually use it uh, If you don't use it carefully you might just break the, the pins lah. So this is the newest uh, version for Hobby which is the kick up version It's very efficient. There are ball bearings inside. Inside here, there's ball bearings. There's ball bearings. There's ball bearing. So it's very, very efficient. Very easy to pedal. Very little resistance. Uh, so effortless pedaling. Yeah, this is a huge upgrade to Hobby Kayak. Uh, other brands do not have it yet, but for now, Hobby has has this. Uh, additional advantages among other, other brands There will be more kayaks guys at, uh, Under Fish On So you guys are interested Check him out on his like uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook Wonderful experience with Fish On To be honest This is my I think 4th or 5th or 6th uh. Alright so we shall continue the session This time, I swap my Polo Rig for a Tanya by Crusader and I'm bouncing off the bottom and hoping to land another grouper. Then landed an orange spotted grouper as well. Oh. Is an orange spotted as well? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's so I guess this has to be on the dinner table. That's good. That's I, highly, food. I highly and highly endorse fish on and not Yes. Put you on to monster fish. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> We'll put you on to the mother of all groupers. Check out the groupers. Oh, this is huge, hey. Oh, oh, oh. But none of our catches combined could beat Nordin's client catch of the day. A huge hybrid grouper landed from a kayak. Before we end the session, I decided to try my last attempt to jig in the middle and bottom column. With no bites, we finally head back to shore and as usual, Norden will assist us with this scaling and guarding the fish before we head home. Definitely a value added service at no cost from Fish On. Alright, guys, so that was it for this session, and I had a wonderful session with Fish On as usual at Pungol, and I finally finally landed my grouper my very first grouper in my whole lifetime i think i 
drop like two and I finally knew why I actually dropped both of those groupers it's because I did not change my stock hooks so you can pretty much see how bent the hooks are I'm not sure if you guys can see lesson learned change split rings change hooks from stock to something better be changing this to a VMC hooks and split rings and the groupers you better watch out also a big thank you to Randy for giving me tips on where I can actually look out for these groupers he actually went for this trip a week earlier unfortunately I couldn't join him due to work if you guys remember what I said in the early part of the video where I got my camera screwed so I actually got this camera water damage um, how did it happen? I actually placed this inside my dry bag and I did not seal my bag properly so somehow water got in and part of the camera was soaked in water I managed to dry in a dry box for like 48 hours manages to turn on but some of the buttons are not working so i'm gonna like send this camera for repair hoping i can get this fixed at a reasonable price definitely another lesson learned check your dry bag always and also if you guys remember what Noden mentioned in the video in the middle portion where he actually upgraded his fleet of kayaks with the new drives i can attest to that they are much more effortless when it comes to pedaling it feels much lighter and smoother so guys if you're considering yourself in trying kayak fishing we fish on do check him out on his socials instagram facebook youtube and tiktok that's where he is very active drop him a pm a message he'll give you a quote and uh, book your dates with him and yes um, the fasting month is finally over and it's the month of shawal and i would like to wish all my muslim friends Eid mubarak and for those non-muslim friends uh, enjoy your long long holiday at least for us in singapore and guys, do stay safe, stay healthy, fish responsibly, tight lines everyone.